<laughs> I can't believe the Earl allowed his daughter to refuse him. How scandalous. Well, William Hamley is an idiot. I wouldn't marry him either. She deserves someone better. Such a very bright and charming girl. No, she's an arrogant one. Just like her father. I don't see that. It's not arrogance. It's nobility. You have to be like that if you want people to respect you. I agree. She will do fine. It's the Earl's son I'm more worried about. Are you knights? We are? Why, you want to be like us? Like you? Tell you what, snatch us some food from the keep and we might train you. Very good. That should be a valuable first lesson. Watch your step, you little twit. Don't mind him, boy. That's just William Hamley. <laughs> he was hoping for a princess, but all he got was a boot. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Do you think he forgot something? His dignity, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you strike me as an honest worker, but we have a right who does all the repairs for us. Then something else, maybe? I heard rumours that there's all kinds of work here. Well, unfortunately, it's not builders we're looking for. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I understand. Thank you for your consideration. Walk with me, boy. I'm sorry, boy, but Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. I want to see the lady. My, you are just as rude as her previous visitor, aren't you? All want, but no manners. Can I see her? May I see her? May I? As I said already, she won't receive any more visitors today. At least not any scoundrels. Not after that Hamley boy tried to propose to her. Again. She'd rather enjoy some quiet than another wide-eyed piglet who thinks himself a minstrel. Now don't start singing, please. May I see the lady? I told you she is not in the mood for pushy boys right now. She'd prefer someone a little more pleasant. Lady Aliena? A charming young woman. She lives on top of the keep. Like a princess? Well, no. Although, I suppose she would make a splendid queen indeed. For now, she is just the Earl of Shiring's daughter. And quite good at her role, if I may say so. Hamley? Yes, Percy Hamley's son, William. Now, off you go. And farewell to you. We have followers all over the south of England. Of course. You're the Earl, after all. A title doesn't guarantee anything, my son. 
I don't understand. Is that why you sent all those letters? We only know what's happening in the South, but our Robert is in the West. Together we control the entire Southwest. Not all of it, but we have messengers in place to keep us informed about everything. Now, be quiet for a moment. I need to think. No, 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 no. The Earl is busy, boy. So, have you heard about anyone else who might need a mason? Hmm. Last summer they were building at the monastery in Shaftesbury, but they might be finished now. Uh, I've been to Shaftesbury. Already too many masons for too little work. What about Earl's Castle? That's up to the Earl and his steward to decide. I can't say anything. this in the keep's kitchen. Can you teach me how to be a knight now? Shit. Oh no. You're shit, shit, shit. You can't just steal from the Earl. We were messing with you, lad. Just messing. Put that thing away. Quick. Let's pretend we didn't see it. Fool can see these buildings need work. If the Earl's not worrying about his stalls and his kitchens, it might be something else. What do you need work for? It pays. It buys shelter and clothing and we don't have to starve. Not everyone can live in a forest, boy. No? No. People need to be around people. And for that, things have to be set in stone. Like the laws in towns, or rents, or wages. If everyone did whatever they liked, things would get very bad very quickly. Can't you work somewhere else? Not if we want to eat tonight. They refused you. Oh, just because work rarely falls into one's lap, it doesn't mean there is none. I'll give this place a look over while you tell your mother to be patient. Alfred is angry. What? Why? He says you're selfish and don't care about him. Thank you for telling me, Jack. I, I will talk to him later.
did you know there's a princess living here? Well, I heard the Earl has a daughter, but that's about it. I'm going to talk to some people. You just keep an eye out. And if you see something I can fix, let me know. What is it, boy? You just want to stand there and stare? All right, then. Let's see what you've got. You're good. Could kill a boar with that stare. Pierce it like an arrow. Ever tried that, boy? Stare a boar to death? No, but I can kill a deer with a rock. <laughs> you know what had happened to a boy who claimed he'd killed a deer? Only the king is allowed to, right? Aye, or the queen for that matter. Whoever has their arse on the bloody throne end of summer. But these are proper times now. Decent and orderly. <clears throat> At least when it comes to butchering deer, that is. Are you a knight? I'll be damned if I wasn't. Would have risked my life for nothing if all I was supposed to do was bake bread. Be warned, lad. Get a job that pays. Not one where you have to pay for a new horse every time someone kicks your ass. Being a knight costs you, especially when you're also a drunkard. Damn. If only I'd known. Will you be fighting soon? Why are you asking? All right, let me tell you a secret. Can you keep a secret? What color is your shite boy? Excellent. Looks like you can keep your mouth shut after all. You want to be in on the real deal now? Then just say the words, What's your bloody secret, Catface? What's your bloody secret, Catface? Well put, boy. Well put. For bloody it is. We are all going to fight soon. It's for a thing called loyalty. See, all these knights are loyal to one man, and he is loyal to another. And he then is loyal to yet another, a woman who is the rightful queen of the English. For some here, loyalty's all about coin and favors and power. But for me, it's all about whom I trust, whom I'd follow all the way to hell for all the right reasons. Going to hell together with confidence and trust. It's what's holding this world together, boy. Ah. So, you understood my little secret? Good. Do you need a mason? Me? <laughs> well, these battlements could use a fresh stone or two, but apart from that, I don't know a bloody thing about building, and I don't want to. All I care about is a good sturdy wall and some hot tar to keep my enemies warm. And that reminds me of a story. You want to hear a story, boy? Well, you see, I'm not just one for a good solid tarring. But back in my day, I was also quite the stealthy bastard, if I may say so. So this one time, me and my men lay siege to this castle. While both sides rested for the night, I took my crowbar and swam over to the enemy. There was this piece of wall where the mortar had gone away, and one could easily look through the holes into their courtyard. So what did I do? I smoothly tore a hole with my crowbar and snuck inside. Then. What you want to do is hit them where it really hurts. And that's not always the groin. In this case, it was their old well barely standing up. So, one kick, and all its rocks tumbled and covered the hole. From then on, they were without water. 
The shortest siege in the history of sieges. And not one man died. All because I had an eye on the wall and made good use of that well. That's what knights do? Knights do a lot of things, lad. How did you end that siege again? I looked for a wall where the mortar was gone, and I kicked in their ramshackle well. Easy. Huh. What a strange boy. What is it, boy? What are you looking for? Something to convince the Earl that keeping things the way they are won't do for long. Could be something small, like washed out mortar or a loose column. Now, I need to see the hole before I can carve the rock. The battlements are broken. I noticed that already. Now, see if you can spot any more damage. Even better, keep an ear out for gossip about the Earl. If we can figure out what kind of man he is, we might learn what's important to him. There is a wall without mortar. If that's true, you have a very keen eye. Now, see if you can spot one more area of damage. And tell me if you learn anything about the Earl. Where did you get that? Just eat it. <laughs> I can see we're going to be good friends. Stay sharp, Jack. People are rarely what they seem. See that knight over there? What does he look like to you? He may seem harmless, but he is still someone who chose battle over any other work. Just because we are out of the forest, that doesn't mean there are no wolves about. There is one. What? There is a princess here. Oh, show me. My lady. Yes, Matthew. There are two children downstairs, desperately wanting to see you. Children? A rather cheerful little girl, and an annoying boy. Well, considering that it is my role to tend to my father's guests, I believe I can see them. Your father let you renounce a wedding. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you declined this as well. 
but a cheerful little girl. And an annoying boy. We will get along. You may bring them up. Oh, it's you. I noticed you and your parents from my window. What can I do for you? Um... You're quite shy, aren't you? Would you like something to eat? But they won't serve food yet. They do what I tell them. I will have Matthew get you some bread. Yes, please. Where's your mother? <coughs> My mother died. Aren't you sad? I was, but that was a long time ago. My brother Richard can't even remember her. My mother's dead too. When did she die? Last week. Oh. Who's that woman with you then? That's my mother. And where's your father? Did he run off? Some men are such beasts. Come on, I want to show you something. Have you ever been up this high before? No. Wow. All the people look so small. Like little mice. You must be up here every day. I used to. But nowadays I try to hold myself back. Why? We are about to make some great enemies. If our first assault fails, they may want to lay siege to our castle, so I will have to get used to staying up here for a long while. I suppose this view will bore me soon enough. Till then, I'm trying to keep it special. And you're sharing it with us? I don't think that I'll ever get bored by this. Come on, let's go back down. Matthew will take you to your parents. How did it go? Oh, she was so pretty. Don't you agree, Jack? Hmm. The well is in bad repair. It is? Yeah, very good, Jack. That's one thing the Earl needs to get fixed for sure. Well, that should do for now. Now, stay sharp and tell me if you learn anything about the Earl. Lady Aliena is expecting an attack. An attack? So, the Earl is planning to go to battle. That's very helpful, Jack. You did a very good job, son. Now come along. You deserve to see if it works. Look, I'd like to give you work, but we don't need you. I just hope you're not expecting a siege soon. Why do you say that? Your defenses are in bad repair. Be specific, man. The mortar in your walls has come away in places. This leaves an opening for a crowbar, and once there's a hole, it's easy to pull the entire wall down. Anything else? Yeah. The keep has an undercroft with a wooden door. If I were attacking the keep, I'd go through that door and start a fire in the stores. And if you were the Earl, how would you prevent that? I'd have a pile of stone, ready-shaped, and a supply of sand and lime for mortar. 
and a mason standing by ready to block up that doorway in times of danger. Matthew, may I have a word with you? Well, we have a home, for now. Is that all right for you all? Of course. Alfred? Why are you asking me? Because you're a builder. And I think you have a say in it too. It's fine with me. Grab your things, everyone, and follow me. It's time we put a roof over our heads. And thus, Tom Builder had finally found work. Little did we know then that it wouldn't last for long. <laughs>